Hi right, guys, Matt Darcy here. Tony, do you want to get started when everyone's ready? Hello. Yeah, I feel pretty fit now. Um, my recovery took a little bit longer than expected. Um, I was I was pretty much available all of pre-season, but um, just wasn't like moving that moving that well. Um, but on it, to be honest, the last the last three four weeks have kind of started to feel feel back to where I was in training and feel sharp again. So it did take a bit longer than expected. So um, look, I'm happy to be to be fit again. Is it frustrating for you though that? Particularly last season, you found form. You persuaded Conte that you were the right man for that position before the injury. Yeah, look, no, not frustrated. Um, like I understand where the manager was coming from in terms of where he thought my fitness was, and um, and he and he was right at the end of the day. So look, I know that he trusts me. I know that once once I'm back fit again, he knows what what I can do for him. And um, and, and once he thinks I'm available, I'm sure I'm sure he'll give me a bit more time. Has he told you he'd like you to get minutes in, in this international window? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what that's exactly what he said. Um, he wanted me to come away and, and try get try get two games in. Um, he kind of said in his press conference that I'd be available after the international break fully um, for selection. So that's kind of the plan if if Steve Stephen obeys him. <laughs> <laughs> and have you felt so far? I mean, it's, you've only had a couple of sessions. Uh, here, but you're, you're feeling good. Yeah, look, I feel like I said, last three, four weeks I've I've started to feel really good again. Um, just kind of doing things more off the cuff and not having to kind of think about them, kind of find my my confidence in training and stuff. So, yeah, look, I'm kind of chomping at the bit. I feel fit. We we train extremely hard at club level, so um, I think fitness won't be an issue going into into two games for me. That's lucky. Thank you. Anne Marie, please. Uh, we're speaking to Robin Gregory and Cam O'Dell, the SA2 players who struggled with the injuries. They were saying how the manager kept in touch with them right the way through. Has that been your experience with Stephen? Yeah, with well, Stephen, yeah, he's, he's rang me a good few times. Um, when I was coming back from injury just before the, the summer camp, there was, like, I was never going to be fit, but we, we, we kind of thought there was half a chance that I might be able to, to make that. Um, it obviously didn't work out, but he's, he's contacted me a good few times, um, even last week, just to see how I was feeling again. So. And the dialogue between us has, has been there, and look, I've got a great life relationship with him. Obviously, he does two good results in June, and um, you were into the squad and come back in now. Do you see a difference in the players' confidence levels from those results? I think, honestly, I think the confidence is pretty high all the time. Um, we get coached extremely well. Our game plans are always almost spot on. So, look, the confidence is there from from the setup that we have, from the belief that the the management give us. So. Um, I mean, I think maybe at the start of the rain when, when the manager first came in, he was trying to find confidence in players. But I think ever, ever since then, everybody's been kind of on, on top form and, and ready to play for him. And now that you have the confidence, is your sense that you kind of need to follow on from GM and find a bit of consistency? Yeah, of course. You're always, you're always striving for consistency, aren't you? Um, we want to win on every game that we, that we play. We look at the fixtures that we have and we think that they're winnable games. Um, I'm sure the other teams probably, probably think the same. Um, but look, we, we know our game plans, we, we trust each other, um, management, players, all the staff, we kind of believe and trust in each other. So, um, yeah, look, we're going, going to win, try and win both games. Gavin Cooney, please. Hey, hi, Matt. Um, Fitness-wise, do you feel like you're ready to start these games? Like yeah, I feel, right, I feel ready to start. I, I mentioned earlier that we, we train extremely hard at club level, so um, if, you're not, if you're kind of not starting games, you're, you're ready to start, even if... Uh, even if you've not been coming off the bench and stuff like that. So yeah, I feel I feel pretty ready to go. Yeah, pre-season at Spurs are fairly brutal. Well, the last one was, yeah. <laughs> last one was pretty good. Can you give us an insight into how you've changed and improved as a player since you started working with Conte? Yeah, look, I think just obviously fitness-wise has been a huge improvement in, I think, the whole squad, not just me. Um, tactically, we're seeing a different style of play, different way of playing. Um, and I think you can probably see that in the results that we get at club level now that we're, we're kind of just 
not dominate teams with the ball, but we don't never look really at threat of conceding many goals, and we always with the boys up top always have have chances to win. Um, and just mentally, he's kind of changed the mentality of the of the whole club. You know, he's made us feel like we we can win. He's made us feel like winners. Um, we know he's obviously won a lot in the past, and and, and we're we're kind of trying to join the ride with him. Do you personally felt that change in mentality as well? And if so, is that something you can take into the international camp? Like yeah, I've personally felt that. Like we we have meetings, we have we have talks. Where after you feel motivated, you're feeling like I remember. I remember first when he first came in, he, did, he had a meeting, and like you were ready, to, honestly ready to run to run through a wall for him after. So, um, look, he's he's one of the best managers that that have been around. So, um, whatever he says, we listen to. Okay. Gavin, come please. Um, Matt, how are you? You, you? you basically said that good form for Ireland is going to have a positive impact on your club career. Was that always the case over the years? Uh, did I did I say that? Yeah, well, just you, you, oh. you said you played two games. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Selection. Um, sorry, what was the question? Uh, has that always been the case that uh, you think that club managers were looking at Ireland? Well, he, clearly he is, but no, past. no, I, I, no, I don't think so. Um, I think if you're just kind of playing well, um, wherever you kind of you'll get noticed by the manager. Um, if, even if it's in training, you know, if you're training hard, that's how I kind of got got back in last season with the manager that I was training like a like an animal for. A, Couple of months before I even, before I kind of got back in, so um, I think it's gonna it, it could help me in terms of he knows that I'm my le I have my legs you know I have the the fitness to last ninety minutes and stuff like that because we got a lot of games once we once we finish international break I think we've got twelve games before before the break so um, yeah look he, if I get to two games in and he knows that I have the the lungs and the legs to kind of ready ready to start. For example, like playing left wing back in Portugal last year and then your form on the right did that. Did that help your, your career at Um. Yeah, maybe he can see that I can play uh, on both sides. Yeah, I see. I see what, what you mean. Um. Look, I think he knows I'm I'm pretty versatile. Like, if he if he if he looked, he's seen that I could play on the left or the right comfortably for the ma the majority of my career. So, um. Yeah. Look, I hope that's the case. I hope he, he sees that we, the two games that we play, and hopefully that I can play well and um and, and get through them fit and healthy. Got a few more to get around to us, see if we could keep it tight. Owen. Oh, um, where did you watch the summer on uh, I watched them um, uh, when I was, I think it was away in Portugal for the, the Ukraine game. And then um, I can't remember where I watched this, this, this Scotland game, might have been back home. And um, look, obviously the first few games were, were tough, they didn't go that well. Um, I was a bit nervous for, for the Scotland game when, when, when I was watching it, but the lads played unbelievably well and kind of kind of blew them away so um look it was a performance that I knew that I knew that we had in them and it was it was nice to kind of finish this somewhere the way we did. Damien? Um, um, just going back to Antonio Conte, it looks a real character from the outside of we see him. Is he the same in the dressing room and on the training pitch or is it is do you see a different side of him? No, he's he's like he's probably not as animated in the on the training pitch but he's still pretty animated. Um Look, he just has a lot of passion for for what he does, and um, it kind of comes back to us the way the way we're kind of playing, the way we want to press. And um, look, we absolutely absolutely love having him as manager, and I'm pretty fortunate that he, he is the manager of us. Aidan, please. Hi, Matt. Um, some of you players in the Premier League now. You played your debut a very long time ago. Yeah. Just been a difficult couple of weeks with you know, Trevor's getting dropped and maybe it is at the weekend. Just talk a bit about how hard it is to be able to talk to them, but just how how difficult it is at that level. It's extremely difficult, yeah. Um, look, you just have to believe in your own ability. I think that's one of my strengths is that I've always believed that I was good enough to be where I am. Um, and that's especially when things are not going not going too well. It's easy to think that you're not good enough or you shouldn't you shouldn't be there. But um, I think they just have to keep keep working hard, keep training like like I, I kind of did last season, where you just train your socks off every day. Um, like my dad used to always tell me. No matter where you train or where you play, there's always somebody watching. So they just have to keep their head down and, and keep going because because I know that they're, they're good enough and, and they will get back in. And just on Saturday's game, most of the lads haven't played in the Hampton. You have. Um, sorry, but it couldn't have gone worse for you that day with that cup final. No, you're right. It couldn't have gone worse. Uh, yeah, we got, we got, I had a tough game and then obviously we lost the end of the derby. Five, I think it was 5-1 in the end. So. And you were booked. Was I booked? Yeah, thanks, thanks for that. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, that was that was pretty that was pretty tough. There, but I, I was 
I was young then and it kind of when you're kind of young like that you kind of just forget about it once it was over and um, like that, that long spell I learned a lot from that long spell John Fan, please yeah man just uh, when Andy Robertson now the likelihood of your being a bit here journey mm. um, any memories of playing against him in the North World and Derby and you know, what type of threat he brings yeah I played against him um, at the Emirates a couple of years back for, for Tottenham and it was a pretty tough game they played well and uh he, he, he played quite well that day. So yeah, look, I know I know what his strengths are. I know what he, he brings to the table. Um, but then again, he, he needs to know the five play. He know, needs to know what I bring to the table as well. So um, I think it'll be a pretty good battle if, if we start. Colin? Yeah. Cool, um, how are you doing? Um, you're always fit looking, but you look even fitter now. Have mm. away because of the <laughs> Yeah, we, we train pretty hard, but I've shaved the side of my face down there. So that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> It's made me look slimmer. <laughs> That's why I put it down to. Um, no, we uh, like we're training ex extremely hard. I've never had a, I've never had preseason like like the one I've just had in terms of um, how tough it was. But we'll get the, the long term goals at some point in the season. Just fun. Just one foot. Just, yeah, just, yeah, just kind of looking forward to March and the next campaign. I know obviously you want to win the next two games. But is there a collective feeling now that this is now this push for the next? campaign is six years to be eight years since we qualified for finals. The feeling amongst the group is you have to really get get down to that. Yeah, yeah, that is the feeling. Um, a lot of us are kind of at that that age where there might not be that many more opportunities to kind of get back into a, to a serious competition. So, and some of us have actually never been, including myself. Um, so yeah, like we're we're pretty focused. And we, we have a set goal what, that we want to achieve and. Um, and I think we're cap I think we're capable. I know people might might not think that's the case, but um, I know the players, and I feel like I know I know football. So um, I know how good the players are. I know how, how much to listen to the manager. Um, so I think we are capable of, of achieving something. Yeah. Last one from Philip. It was no question, but on this uh, text, Paul. As always, you said, we don't know if we're that idea. But no, um, um, in that regard, at these two matches are important, and also the November friendlies, because you want to go into the European, as you say. On the rising tide. Look, honestly, I know people say it all the time, but like every every single game, um, nobody wants to lose games, especially for the country. You know, we want to go away in Scotland. We want to beat them. We want to beat Armenia at home. Um, and the friendlies, look, we're not, we've not lost that many games in the last uh, in the last two years, maybe. So look, we want to continue and and kind of stay um, on on a bit of a streak of, of not losing too many games. So um, yeah. Every game we're trying to win. Um, I know it's going to be tough because some of the teams have quality, um, but no teams are, are blown us away whenever we play. It's always it's always a tough game. If you look at Belgium, Portugal, twice, um, we're giving everybody a run for the money. Thanks, guys. Thanks very much. Thank you.